Hi friends and subscribers, this is Mehu Sheikh and from past few videos I have been working on developing a lecturer's management system using PHP Code Igniter, Ajax and jQuery. In my last video I completed the functionality of developing this follow and unfollow feature and in this video I will discuss about displaying the followers and following count here below this card of logged in user okay uh, so before starting this video i would just want to tell you guys that if you guys like this video click on like button share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you will get regular updates of my upcoming videos okay so now let us start our discussion on displaying the number of followers and following count here on this profile card okay so for that first we need to go to our editor okay so this is my user dashboard view so i will go to my user dashboard view and here at the top you will see uh, this is the place where i have created the card okay in the form of a table okay and here i have to display the number of followers and following count okay so now here for displaying the followers count i am maintaining a different column in my users table as you can see follower count field is there and I'll be keep on updating the value of this field uh, as on the number of followers gets increased okay so right now for both of these users there are two followers so that count I have maintained here in this table okay and here in my system only two users are registered and both of these users have started following each uh, each other okay so now the following count follower count for both these users are one okay so that detail i'm getting from this users table okay so now that's what i'm doing here okay so all that data will be stored inside the personal data so for that here i have written a check personal info function so here I have a check personal info function which I have discussed already in my earlier videos okay so in this function I'm taking the data from users personal table and uh, department table okay and here I'm joining these three tables to get the data okay uh, and in this function I'm also getting the follower count detail as well okay so this function return me the data of followers count so that data I'm printing here in this view okay so now so if the user doesn't have any uh, follower then in that case I will be displaying zero as followers okay if it has any record then i will be displaying the following followers count okay and then here for following count we need to also display the following count as well so for displaying the following count uh, i have written a function okay uh, as you can see inside my index function i have made a call to this following function and i have passed the user id of the logged in user which i am getting from the session okay and let me just take you to this following function i will go to user model and here you can see i have created this following uh, function and here i am checking inside my tbl follow table how many uh, following users are there okay so that count those number of rows count I am returning from here okay so which tell me about this user is following to how many users okay uh, so that thing I can get from the uh, my follow table okay so in this table I am getting the data of following okay so for getting the data i have written this uh, query okay this will return me the number of following count and that count i am getting here inside my user controller and that following count i am passing to this user dashboard view in the form of an array and that following count i am receiving in my user dashboard here following count I'm printing out here here as well if the user is not following any other user then I'll be displaying the following count as zero and here 
also you can see in else part also okay so this is the if part okay so this if section will be displayed if the user has not yet uploaded their personal profile in that case that if section will get executed if the user has uploaded their uh, profile by going to this add profile view if the that user has uh, uploaded all the personal qualification professional and skill details then in that case uh, else part will get executed which is this part okay so now here also we need to do the same thing whatever code we will be written we will be writing in the if the same code we need to copy here inside else block as well okay uh, and uh, yes that's all uh, we have we have to create this following function inside our user model and we need to make a call to uh, this following function in our index okay so now uh, when you do that you will see your followers and following count will start count will start displaying on this card okay i will first go to my dashboard okay so now here you can see it's displaying the followers and following count as one one okay and we have this kind of design in other pages like my posts so in my posts as well you need to put this piece of code okay this complete row you need to copy and you need to view okay post view in post view also you need to paste sorry I'll just copy and I will paste it here and I will paste here as well okay so let me just align them properly okay so apart from copying this entire markup you need to copy this follower count and you need to put in your my post function okay so here i have a my post function and i will pass this here Okay, paste it out and now when I refresh you will see following count will get increased see now following count starts appearing okay uh, and uh, we have this kind of design in our ad profile as well okay so here also we need to do the same thing so we need to go to our ad profile view and we need to copy this and we need to paste it here and also we need to paste the same thing here as well okay and apart from this we need to come to our you add profile function here we need to copy this and we need to put it here and we need to pass this following count inside this array okay save it and now when you refresh you will see followers and following count will start appearing see now you can see the followers one follower and one following is started displaying okay and uh, we also need to display the same thing in our view profile page okay uh, so for that we need to do the same thing we'll just copy and uh, view user profile I'll paste it here save it and we need to go to our user controller need to copy this and we have to come to our view user profile function and we have to paste it we have to pass this inside this array to paste it out save it and now let's refresh we will see followers and following count will start displaying on the card okay so this is how you can display the number of followers and following uh, on this profile card okay so this is everything about developing the functionality of displaying the followers and following count and uh, and that's all for this video and i hope you guys have understood how 
to develop this kind of functionality and in my next video i will discuss about displaying the image and name of the logged in user on this section okay uh, inside this navigation menu okay and uh, that we will see in our next video and uh, uh, thanks for watching